Welcome back, Rich Nation. My name is AJ, and today we're going to be continuing One Piece episodes 439 and 440. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. You can also check out these episodes early and uncut over on patreon.com slash ajrich123. And let's go ahead and start. They're really having a good time. <laughs> I mean, are they dancing and stuff without curing Luffy? <laughs> I don't even want to know what some of those people are doing. Oh, God. This has really gotten me speechless. I don't even know what to say. I... <laughs> you would think this would be, you know, paradise for Bon Clay. I guess he's just uh, so shocked. Please calm down, please. I'd rather not you be excited. So did he used to look a lot different? Well, you have to say, they all respect him. The fuck? Who was- I was about to say, no one wants to be called Dookie. Just another word for crap. <laughs> and probably never came back. Or I can see why he'd want to hold a grudge here. Lost all his status. Here's a question. Can he fight? Or is this just part of the performance? Uh... Oh, send it right back. Okay, so he does have some power. I guess you would have to be strong to be a king or a queen anywhere. To have the highest status even here, you'd have to have some power. Looks. What? What? Female hormone? Wait, 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 wait. is he injecting? No! Oh my God. Whoa, wait, he's actually turning him into a female! What the f- Holy shit! I thought it was gonna be more like... I thought you had to be on the island or something, or... So he has some power to switch... Uh, the, the, the switch the, the actual... Um, like, the actual gender of somebody. Holy boobs. It's a gender bender! Oh, maybe he can do either with his power. One Piece really knows how to go into every direction. This is where everyone dances for life. I mean, that is a power you could use for good. <laughs> well, you changed that person's life forever. I wonder if he already did it. Oh. 
モニターですっかり見せてもらってたわよ麦わらボーイよくここまで来られたわね While they're freezing and being poisoned to death here ボンちゃんが俺を助けてあああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ So the treatment's torture. More torture. Very fitting for this prison. Was there a nicer way of doing it? <laughs> okay, so they've figured out using stilts is the best way. Couldn't you make candle stilts? Oh, he did, okay. Wax stilts. Now you just need to find where Luffy and Bon Clay are. Though I have a feeling they probably wouldn't get let in. Poor Luffy. That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> what are what are they doing? Wait, what? That is an insanely small amount. Wait a second. So taking off an entire 10 years of your life, is that literal? Like using whatever he is able to do, you can possibly be saved for a two to three percent chance. But you know you uh, you're not gonna have 10 years. So some people are like, do I want 90 to 100 anyway? But still, that's that's a lot of life. Oh, oh shit! So he has multiple different types of attacks, healing, like anything to do with. Using types of hormones? <laughs> Seriously, poor Luffy. That's... That's worse torture than some of the torture we've seen in this prison. Doesn't sound like it's healing. Oh. Like either reworking your genes or something to kind of have yourself fight the virus or fight, in this case, fight the poison. What the hell? Is this hair white? Wait, why? Oh, I, at first I thought it was just arrows. Like, why are the arrows going up there? It's part of the tattoo. <laughs> Oh, and that's what he's doing with Luffy. And Luffy's the perfect candidate for that. Yeah, Luffy's going to be able to get through this because there's nobody else I can think of that would have this much, like, exactly what he said. That defines Luffy. Oh. Oh, there's a... Chibi Luffy, but actual Kid Luffy and Kid Ace. Oh, they're past. Just thinking about all the, the good memories, the fond memories, everything he doesn't want to lose. He wants to be able to save him. 16 hours. Okay, that went faster now. But from, 20, from 24 to 16 hours, it's really coming up there. And uh, mostly, I mean, 10 hours passed, as they said, because Luffy was going through that the whole time. 
uh, now we're getting to the i mean time is running out luffy has to fight this infection but i kind of like how this person's even like their his powers is legit not only being able to i mean using hormones to switch like to switch somebody's gender or to to heal them using their own what it feels like it's like using your desires or using your it only works as if like maybe maybe it, maybe it's like this can only work or do it if you want this but also it's not like uh, the person went over there and asked to be uh, transformed into a girl though so maybe not quite that but because I was thinking, I was like, you could use some of his powers for good, as we saw with Luffy, but you could also use those bad because not everybody wants to switch genders. There might be some people that want to, but not everybody. And you can use that as an attack to uh, for sure. I, I But it seems like he go, he was even talking about going to places and fixing and helping people. But only he can only save people that wants to be saved and has the spirit, uh, you know, combining spirit and hormones together to be able to have an, a healing effect. So I, I, it's, you know, people will, anybody that does something that you can never believe, it's going to be called a miracle worker or somebody that's a god or whatever, because normally it can't be done. Sort of like, oh, they did something that can't be done normally. They have to be a god or whatever. But I feel like he defined it really well. The 3%. Like I said, if anybody can do it, it's Luffy. Aha, yeah. At this point, I usually just assume, even if I don't say it, I'm just kind of assume it's a, if it's something I that looks different or it's an ability or something, I usually just assume it's a devil fruit at this point. We like it just seems like a good assumption to make. So I I kind of assumed it was a devil for a power. Growth too? That ability has so much possibilities. Yeah, I was assuming that. As we've seen him do to somebody, I'm sure some of them were different genders before. I mean, you're kind of flipping a coin here. <laughs> I mean, you know, for some people. Everybody has their own dreams. Okay, so there is some hidden areas. That's the only way you're getting this food. Oh. And this is how they pretty much took... They took this over. That was probably like a TV show for them. <laughs> Am I brain farting here? I swear to God there was a... I had to be really early episodes. Wasn't there somebody that had like a... What was that? Was that the... Was that the uh, Christmas person? It was during that arc. I forget. There was, a, there was somebody that could like dig through holes and, and dig under the ground. I swear. Tell me if I'm wrong. I can't 100% remember. I, I wonder if that's who they're talking about or it's somebody completely different. But I, I for some reason, since they brought back a ton of people, it wouldn't surprise me if it was somebody because I swear to God, there was somebody that had like a devil fruit or a power that was going underneath the ground. I, I can't remember who it was, though. This was the perfect time to do it. So what happened to this guy? Oh, did he go crazy? Oh, they looked at things way differently. So he either ran away or got killed there? 
Or maybe now he's imprisoned? Ah, he's imprisoned. A shit ton of people from Alabasta in that arc. And this is where they need to go. So I'm guessing that this is the perfect person to get help to, to be able to get there and get to Ace. They seem to have all the underground, know how to get everywhere, all the paths and everything. This Now this is perfectly set up to be able to get Luffy to Ace. Now the only thing is Luffy getting over the poison, but this is really set up perfectly. I mean, now, uh, uh, I mean, as much as it possibly could be. Oh, wait, maybe you can. He just, he has to get better first. Oh, no. He is Luffy, though. And if I know Luffy, he can recover faster. And even if you think he needs to sleep or recover longer or whatever, he might be able to, especially how much he wants to get this done. If anyone can get done quicker, it's Luffy. You know, Von Clay is not himself right now because he's so worried. Normally, he'd be having a blast with these people. <laughs> he's cheering them on. Has he been doing that the whole time? You know, I feel Luffy would appreciate this a lot. Because this is all he can do, is cheer him on. They're having their own fun over there. Did he do it till he passed out? Or he went in. God damn. Until the... Until he can't even say anything anymore. I have ridiculously underestimated this friendship. He wants to show that he's with him and he's not fighting alone. I really do love this. He wants to fight with him. They are really so similar. Like-minded people. I wouldn't have thought of that initially. Is this one of the best friendships in this show? Like, I, I'm like, like, just shocked. Oh. <laughs> Strawberry underwear. <laughs> They finally found him? Oh, shit. Doesn't it feel like they're wearing a uniform with everything down below there? Jesus. Holy, what the fuck? Unless that's the, like, the poison? That wouldn't make any sense. Like, bled out all the poison? Yeah, because he's not... 
It's obviously not dead. Oh. Oh, he did. He got like all the poison out. The hungriest Luffy has ever been? The first thing he thinks of. <laughs> Time to have a feast. A quick one. Could someone put on pants? That's what I, w I thought was going to happen. Luffy being able to do it quicker. Uh, he has to talk through it. <laughs> Five minute meal. This really has got to be the hungriest Luffy has ever been. <laughs> Why the? Why is this food? Why did it go to his stomach like that? That was so weird. <laughs> now we can put it everywhere else. <laughs> we were missing the scream ending. <laughs> it's been a while since we've had a scream and a Luffy scream ending. I, I've i missed it. That was like, that seemed to be a trend for a while. Like it's not an ending of an episode without Luffy screaming about something. I, I feel like that has to be a staple of this show is let Luffy scream at the end. Um, man, uh, I, I had a feeling it was, it had to be quicker. Cause if it wasn't quick, if he didn't recover quick enough, that's what would have had. Well, well, what would have happened was he wouldn't have been able to make it up in, in time at all. Now he actually has the time um to get to ace but this is going to be cutting it close um <laughs> cutting it extremely close but my thought is all of them everyone there they have all this um resources they know this prison i think they're going to be able to get them down there quick uh to some extent there's got to be a way to like some type of shortcut some type of way to get yourself down there um one thing i want to make sure i really hammer on here is Bon Clay has got, and we've seen friendship being shown a ton in this. Cause you know, Luffy is all about that. We, how all the straw hats joined, we see everybody's connections, how close everybody is. But I, I want to know your guys' opinions too. What do you think is the, the biggest sign or biggest like display of friendship that you've seen in this show? Would you would you uh count this bon clay's like devotion and friendship towards luffy this their friendship in general where would you stack that compared to everybody else because to me like the way it was displayed i have to say it's got to be near the top and that's saying just in a few episodes not that that wasn't really shown back in alabasta back in that arc like we got to see a small portion of that but I, I'm really like just shocked and speechless from like not even knowing each other for that long and not, and, but on Clay's and, and Luffy, how much they helped each other to a crazy extent. We know Lu that's part of Luffy and that's how he is with his true friends. But this just felt like on another level, and maybe it's, I think part of it is because you don't expect it from somebody that was shown as a villain initially. And so, like, uh, I guess that might be why it's a little bit more. It feels so big to me. But yeah, I just want to know your guys' opinion on that. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Smash that like button. Hit that notification bell. You can also check out these episodes early and uncut over on patreon.com slash hrich123. Uh, all my links are down below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.